Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on UFT automation. Uh, in this video, we will look at uh, different uh, kinds of recordings we have, normal recording, analog recording, low level recording and insight recording. Uh, we will look at the first three in this video and we will look at the insight recording in a separate video. So uh, normal recording is where, you know, it's a default recording mode. Uh, you, you hit the recording button on the EFT uh, toolbar and it will start recording. No change. I mean, it will uh, recognize the objects uh, based on the add-ins and uh, uh, primarily tracks your uh, keyboard um, keys, meaning if you um, do a tab on your keyboard, it tracks that. If you uh, you know enter any data into any field, it will track that. Meaning it will track your keyboard, uh, whatever you key in, and then it will um, start. I mean, it will recognize the object, so it will take the input from your keyboard and work with your objects. That's the default behavior. Uh, but uh, that might not work in certain situations. Uh, the practical example that I can give you is uh, an applica applications with uh, you know a signature area where you know you put a signature and signature appears on the screen so in that case you know you know your normal recording will not help you 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 the only choice that you have is either go with analog recording or with low level recording uh, there is, you know, pros and cons with analog recording and low level. You might want to play with it and see which one works. But, you know, it does have its differences. Analog recording tracks your keyboard and the mouse movements. Okay. And the mouse movements could be related, relative to your screen or application. But whereas your low level recording pretty much records the coordinates. So that's the difference between analog recording and a low level recording. So let's uh, take a look at, uh, you know, uh, try to, you know, use uh, MS Paint and do a normal recording and then we'll try to play and see, you know, what kind of impact we have. So the whole point is, you know, we will record it and see if we can, you know, uh, play it back and see, you know, what kind of impact it has. You know, can we draw properly or does it draw or not? So we'll take a look at it. So I'll hit recording. And here is the mist paint, and all I'll do is I'll try to draw a smiley face. Okay. No actions were recorded, as you can see here. Hit stop. Of course, you know there's no step there, so it could not really recognize anything because there is no keyboard input, and uh, there's nothing object for it to recognize. So let me go back to mist paint and clear that up. So I just wanted to clean one. Well, I have a clean one, and now let us uh, start uh, analog recording and see how it works. Okay, so my thing was recorded. Well, now let's do analog recording. Uh, I'll hit record and on the record toolbar, I'll pull this drop down, use analog. And you get a prompt here it says, you know, record relative to the screen, relative to the following window. So, to be more efficient, uh, you might want to select a relate to the following window. So, you know, you have an option here, you can use this button and click on this so it, it picks up the title of the window and now it says start and log record now let's do the same thing okay 
okay there is no recording there you don't see any number stop but look here what's the difference now it has uh, windows paint dot analog and it has track 2 so let us do this let us uh, go back to the MMS paint and we'll clear this up say new go back here and we'll run the script now by the way you know it had two lines because I did it twice so it literally tracks it so we were able to you know primarily draw a picture using analog recording now let's do this uh, let us uh, do low level recording uh, low level recording and I'll do okay Let's stop it as you can see, you know the way it recorded was different. It, it's trying to literally track uh, by the coordinates. So let's see, you know how this uh, runs. So let me go ahead and clear all these up, and let me go ahead and run the script. So there, there's a you know part of the script is analog and then low level. It's not exactly the same as uh, what I did, but you know, the second part of the drawing was from the here. So this analog is giving more uh, desired results. So let me go ahead and delete all this. Do it one more time, real quick. Go ahead and clear this one. So do analog recording. I know it's not a pretty picture, but I'm just trying to draw if I can. okay as you can see now I'm gonna um, move my mouse this way so it's going to record all these circles as well I just want to show that to you oh sorry we didn't really start this so let me clear this real quick so let's do let's pick a record related to the following window is that click there and the start analog recording so it started so okay stop so it has strike three this time if you go back here this by the way there is no circle for the head and uh, you know I was actually drawing but it was not displaying that uh, but you know when we run it it actually will draw a circle for the head well that's it about uh, analog recording so you might want to give it a try use you know uh, primarily you know use your paintbrush because you know, that's where you actually draw well uh, that's it about uh, you know normal analog and low level recording we will look at the you know inside recording in the later video okay thank you